Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome to part 8 of my, uh... Shengqing Tuanguo campaign here in uh, Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich. So we're actually just going to be taking a risk here, and uh, we're going to try to take out the Hunan click quickly. Uh, before Feng Tian gets involved or anything like that. We've uh, we've been capped, and, and you know, okay, what, what's the hit? What's the hit that we're going to take? It'll, we're going to take a 5% stability hit. That's fine. Um... But yeah, we're 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 just trying to continue to get our uh, our like industry up and running some more because uh, we certainly have the population on our side. Nice, we don't have to trade for aluminum anymore. Very very good. Uh, but we're getting behind on a lot of things, most notably artillery and the motorized equipment since we switched to seven twos. But I'm hoping that even the stuff that we do have is going to be enough to take care of us. Uh, yeah, let's see how bad's the supply situation. Really not that bad at all. Uh, okay. And we're gonna try to get these out now. Alright, that's actually slightly more than we need. Let's uh, disband some of these. Okay, so once all of these divisions are in position, we'll uh, delete the order and change them into uh, fallback lines. <laughs> Let me see. Georgia has capitulated. I think that means one of the Caucasus, right? Okay. Still has not fallen. Uh, Commune of France continuing to make steady progress. They've hit the Rhine. So they've got that as a nice defensive uh, barrier against Germany. So they could... Uh, I say defensive when they're the ones on the offensive. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, no, I think they could take Flanders basically at their leisure. I'm starting to wonder if the Spanish Civil War is going to keep going beyond the um, the Second World War. Or else the American Union State looks like the momentum is on their side now. Uh, not, not really too surprising there. I have to start getting that next level of uh, industry stuff, but not quite yet. Still says I have decisions available. Oh yeah, don't want to bother with this coal mining stuff. Like maybe. Uh yeah, I've only got 13 excess steel. This might not be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, let's do it. So there go all my civilian factories. <laughs> not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh so the war here against the Hunan Federalists. We'll begin on the 3rd of September, so about a year after uh, the World War kicked off. See, Mussolini seems to be stalling in his march down uh, the peninsula. Probably because Austria got involved. Oh, actually, no, yeah, yeah, they're, oh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, they're technically at war with Germany, but... Hold on, I thought that we saw the thing that Austria had entered the war. Did, did we not see that happen? Hmm. Oh, we can get some tungsten mines going. Uh, yes, yes, I, I'm gonna need that for artillery. That actually, I probably should have taken before I took the other stuff. Um, army experience is not really rising as fast as I'd like. You know, this is one of those moments, though, where I wonder, maybe I should have sent an attaché to the Spanish Civil War after all, but maybe if I had sent that attaché, the buff it would have given would have made one side win. You know, who knows? I'm not, none of them really, really line up with our ideology, anyway. Uh, but really, we want the Pacific States to try to hold on here. Oh, wow. Horrible supply problems going on down here in uh, Mexico. Oh, yeah. Mexico's at war with them both. This is, in fact, a three-way war. For some reason, I thought Mexico and the Pacific were working together. Uh, oh, cool. Our, um, we could do the logistics now. Uh, do I have the excess support equipment for that? Maybe. Let's find out, huh? And bye-bye support equipment. Yep, there it goes. Nice knowing you. Uh, now let's get improving these ASAP, because my logistics are only going to keep getting worse uh, as we take more and more of these areas in China, especially Yunnan. 
Yunnan is going to be such a pain. I might actually have to train paratroopers or something. Oh no, but Kunming is right there on the border. Uh, yeah, it's 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 going to be awful. Just awful taking Yunnan later. Uh, let's see. In terms of industry, we look like we're about even with Feng Tian. We have certainly, certainly more manpower. Uh, and division's tough to say. But they're in the co-prosperity sphere now. That really, really sucks. That might have to end up being the last war. Factory bonus to division limit, military construction speed. Could take this for the rebate. No, but then we'll just have to... It's, it's going to give us 50, and then we'll need the 100 to switch again. No, it's not worth it. We'll take the stability hit. Now, what I might want to do here, actually, is uh, already start setting up the next fight. Uh, yeah against the uh, Zhangji click. I'm not sure I've ever seen them go Paternal Autocrat. Alright, how are we looking here? 1,069 days to go there. 159 days on the motorized. 39 days on the support. Let's see, it says here we have an inferior enemy, even though they've got the whole border so, hopefully, hopefully. All right, everybody here is in position, it looks like. So let's start uh, setting up those fallbacks. All right. Uh, what, do we, what else do we want to do now? We could develop the coastline. Don't think I need that right now. Oh, we're at peace with the Qing government, technically, because there isn't one. Negotiate with Japan for additional dockyards. Hmm. We don't have Qingdao. Uh, Infrastructure construction and civilian construction speed might not be a bad idea. I think we need that one civilian factory faster, though. Infrastructure will be good because I'm going to need to build more as I head inland. Okay. Uh, we got some Huabei thing here. Extracting natural gas. Yes, yeah, some of this stuff is not really as important. Hmm. Organize rail system. Uh, I think uh, tungsten's what we need. Yeah, just keep keep getting that tungsten. Uh oh, did I misclick something? No, yeah, there we go. There we go. Improve our smelting methods so we can refine our metals for a variety of purposes, both military and civilian. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Bad news for the Ukrainian National Republic today as the Russian army has completed its assault on the ancient capital. While initial reports suggested the Ukrainian defenders would be able to hold them at the bridges in a protracted siege, the many avenues over the river proved too much to hold. With Russian troops on either side of the river and scattered defenders surrendering on the isles, Kiev has fallen to the defenders. With the thriving hub now in Russian hands, the rest of Ukrainian lands are in jeopardy. While the Russian state has promised to respect the 700 years of history built up since the Mongols destroyed it in 1204, uh, Kievan memory is long. Evasions have never been kind to them. They fear the worst. The Ukrainian situation appears dire. Okay, it says I could continue modernization right here. Yeah, do, do I want to keep doing that? Like, I kind of think I probably should just keep doing the supply hub. Okay, when's the supply hub going to be done? Not till January. Damn. It takes so long to build. So that's not even going to be useful in this war. Well, if it's not going to be done in time anyway, we probably should just do something else. Uh, I 
think it might still be. I don't like to take things that take more than 200 days. Oh, but no, we're, we're, we're clear here now. Awesome. Okay. So let's get started on all that industry. Okay. Uh, rebuild the mines. Yeah, I think that's the one that's going to give you the most steel. So let's take that. Yeah, really good, really good. Oh, we actually have way more tungsten than I need. Damn, I forgot how much is here in uh, in Jingji Province. Uh, tungsten, that is. For some reason, I thought all the tungsten was down here. There's a lot less tungsten. Didn't there used to be much more here in uh, Zhangji? I guess it's one of those things you start to think, oh, this is how much there is, and you forget and don't really think about it. Uh, also, why am I not getting options to core stuff? I guess I have to be the Republic of China before I can. Oh, nice! We can, uh, oh, no, this is uh, an air doctrine that's available. That's from the Pacific. Okay, thank you. Uh, what do we want to do here? Maybe, no, not strategic destruction. Operational integrity might be good in the short term. So they're both gonna, both give the 5% buff. This gives me the ace generation sooner. But you know, I get the, yeah, it's hard to not always go battlefield support. Unless like you're really, really specifically gonna be doing some strategic bombing. Which I haven't done a game where I did a lot of strategic bombing uh, in a while. Usually, if I'm doing that in uh, in Kaiserik or something, it's because I'm gonna actually land in Japan. Uh, so we just start pummeling them into the ground. Yeah, uh, I think I think Germany maybe was hanging in there, but once the Japanese got involved out here, it's taking too many resources from the group. All right, I kind of want to just keep doing this modernization for. Um, Storyline purposes, I guess you could say. Uh, you know, rebuilding China, building up China. Uh, yeah, so we'll just we'll just keep doing that. It's like coring. I don't need to core anything else. I've got more than enough population, but I want to do it because I am rightful China. Right, we could uh, we can get our maintenance companies in the infantry if we wanted, but I'm not going to. Uh, cause I wanna, I wanna get that final army reform done. Hmm. A few more weeks to go here. Uh, let's see how this is looking. Uh, artillery situation is getting slightly better. Motorized, we're almost caught up. Same thing, only about a month to go on the support equipment, so yeah, we'll, we'll be mostly alright heading into this fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I really should maybe make some mountain divisions of some kind. Depends on how much army experience I can keep um, taking from, from them out there. Oh, I still haven't taken any of these Spirit of Division stuff. Hmm... Aggressive reconnaissance, operational reserves, victory or death, organization loss when below 25% goes down by 15%, we can get mass charge, war feeds itself, supply combat on core territory goes down. Oh, I think it's the, the game wants me specifically to take this one. Look. China's deep mountains and vast expanses challenge even the most modern systems of supply, but where truck and train cannot reach, one will still find the people, and in their hands lie nearly everything an army needs to stay on its feet. Not all will cooperate, but this is our land and these are our people. The war effort must not be left wanting. Helps with supply range and our combat penalties when we're on core territory. That helps when we're on, when we're on defense. But, okay, there we go. We can get our new doctrine now. Okay, it helps with reinforce and planning, and we'll get elastic defense, which is uh, really good. 
countering any blitz attempts. And that's it. I think that's the end of army reform. We'll finally be done with it. I don't think that there's a fifth one. Check your red spears, loyal citizens, big sword assistants, honorable master. All right, here we go. Flanders capitulates and we go to war at the same time. What is this? Proving diplomatic relations with a lot of people. Why are they like improving diplomatic relations with Sweden and stuff? It's a bit of a strange move. Yeah, we don't we don't need to get too fancy here, I think. Uh Hmm. Yeah, and the more steel we have, you know, we could we could get some trade going, hopefully. Uh, yeah, let's see, like, we're exporting a lot. No, out of it, we have 304 current exports, nothing. No, nobody is exporting with us. Oh, Austria intervenes. They just now intervene? Why did I thought... I thought they already had. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, not my pig, not my farm. go keep this guy pinned down see and we're about to get over the river and have ourselves a good time okay let's start heading toward that extra political power so we can keep uh, you know putting things together these lakes out here, they're so annoying sometimes. They just, uh, yeah, are a bit of a pain, to say the least. There we go. How are we looking so far? Uh, they're losing more than we are, even though we're on the offensive, so that's really good. Clear air superiority. Uh, very nice. Did we ever end up? No, we didn't. We did not end up uh, building close air support. Probably should do that. There we go. Ching Sha's, ours. That's most of their victory points. We probably just need to take Ching Day now and it'll all be under control. We've only got one factory making artillery? I thought I had three there already. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start dumping a lot more in there because that's a little bit silly considering we're doing seven twos right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. This one tile here is empty. Yeah, they're getting they're getting squeezed. Chengde is their only supply hub, and now it's just been cut off. I could probably, if I wanted, just annihilate their army here to the south. But I think taking Chengde will be enough anyway. We don't need to not take it just to keep them uh, cut off. It says we have planes in reserve, but we're sort of saving those for any of ours that get shot out. Having said that, uh, yeah, they don't have planes. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm sure the rest of these cliques don't have any planes yet. Yeah, no planes, no planes, no planes. Feng Tien's got planes. There goes Vietnam. Greater Siam is being established. There we go. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to say, why haven't they fallen? Very, very, very nice. Good stuff. All right, let's get ready for the next fight. This one is going to start when on the 29th. So we'll, we'll be we'll be fighting them before the year is out. Uh so much infantry equipment now. <laughs> let's uh maybe get building up some of these red spear copies. Yeah. Really short on the support equipment. Yeah. We'll need everybody for the greater glory of China. And let's take these ones and uh, put the maintenance companies in there. Very good. Okay, and then next, I think with our army experience, we'll actually start creating, uh, you know, getting some of those spirit of the army stuff. What is this, 75? Integrate Hunan province. Oh yes, oh yes. We're going to need 75 political power to do that. Seems like a lot. And uh, after we're done with uh, Zhangji, um, 
damn, Yunnan has got a lot of freaking factories. Yunnan's the next logical one we should attack. But we could go after the dilapidated Ma Click. Or we could really stretch out and go after Tibet. But no, we'll, we'll get lost out there. I think, I think Yunnan's the better better bet. Oh, we don't have the political power to uh, just start justifying, though. So that just means we're going to have to take a stability hit again later. Not a huge deal. All right, but uh, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty thick. Looking looking like a nice big China. Uh, but we certainly don't have the industry to take on the, um, the Japanese at the moment. They're... Sweden just ate up uh, Norway. Are they, are they with? Are they with Germany? No, they're with nobody. Okay. I thought Sweden usually went with them, and then Norway goes with the Third International. Actually, that's not true. That depends on what what Norway's ideology is, of course. Uh, we cannot improve our uh, infantry equipment just yet. Um, let's get the construction. We've got. Plenty of stuff to repair. Okay, we could keep doing the extraction of steel, but maybe not. No, let's say let's save up for the uh, integration. Integration should be first priority each time. But uh, no sign of Feng Tian coming after me. I'm not exactly sure what it is they're doing. Uh, let's kind of maybe have our guy start investigating this situation out here. Yeah. And uh, dang it, I should not have actually been spending that political power. I, I, or I should spend it, I should say, a little bit of it here. So, Because I'm worried about the stability hit. And you know, once we have Guangxi, we'll it's 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 you know it, it we have a, a little bit of an easier time getting into Yunnan, I think. Not much, but it's there. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and set that up, and then next what they will do is integrate. Uh, we're not getting the inferior enemy modifier. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, we're already suffering from some supply issues out here. Uh, not good. Not good at all. So what's the closest hub to the front line? We don't really, like, this one, but there's not even railways. Could upgrade bottlenecks, but I just don't know how much that's really gonna do for me. Yeah, it only goes so far out. That's a problem. That's a that's an actual real problem. All right. Another 24 here, ready to go. Let's put them on this border, just to hold, if nothing else, when the time comes. Uh, I think supply is certainly going to be an issue. Damn, we're so back on support equipment now. Uh, Liang Lu. Yeah, not, uh, not great. Not a great situation. We don't have railway guns, what is this? Fall of Mexico! Alright, yeah, Pacific definitely not long for this world. And there goes my steady supply of uh, army experience. I might send an attaché to France or something, though. Or wait, is Russia at war with Transmer? No, no, they're not. Okay, that would have been awesome. Oh, uh, did you guys know that there's a... I was tempted to pick it up, but no, I've got enough books to read. Uh, apparently somebody put out a biography of Boris Savinkov. It, it just got released recently. Uh, and I and I don't know, I haven't looked into it, but I just thought... Nobody knew who the freak Boris Savinkov was in, uh, in 
until you know Kai's the right came along except for people in the know so <clears throat> I was thinking I wonder how much Kaiser Reich is responsible for that guy getting a book about him may, uh, written it's like that documentary uh, that came out a few years ago about the honey badger and I just thought nobody would have funded a honey badger documentary that's gonna get like a Netflix deal if it wasn't for the honey badger don't care honey badger don't give a fuck meme you know? <laughs> But whatever gets the job done, right? Let's look at these. Uh, these just look to be basic infantry. Oh, no. The oh, wow. They've got anti-air guns in here. That's really not good. I think what's going to end up happening with the Jean G. Click War is uh, it's going to be that it's going to be just like when we were fighting the left KMT. We got to actually hold the line and not advance all along the front. We're just going to need to push where we can and eventually overwhelm them with our greater population. See, they're being smart about it. Like right here, Shen Guo only has one division. There's two there now, but it's moving. one of them's moving out of the way. But I can't attack it from two directions, so like it would have been much dumber, say, to have... Oh, like right here. This tile in uh, Gulen, only one division is there, and I can hit it from three directions. That one can fall very easily. But over here, it's, it's a little more compacted. So... They're being smart about it. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's turn these into elite units to make sure, because that that's what this army. Oh, the Tripolitanians have entered the war now. That's critical. Uh, but yeah, the this is this this army here is entirely red spears. I actually probably should just change the logo. Is there a spear logo? There should be. If there's not, somebody make one. Um, yeah, none of these really work. We'll do the we'll do the lightning, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this this whole line is made of uh, the red spears, so that's why we're making them elites. And yes, I know there's the ones here on the coastline. Actually, because of that, maybe I should change them. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, right, the justification is ready. Or wait, no, is it not? 29th December. What happened? What Did, did I miss something? Oh, no, yeah, it was 29th of December the whole time. I thought it was... I was thinking it was the 9th. Uh, okay, soon we can integrate. Soon, 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 soon. Hmm. Yeah, these raising an army, just, just not useful at all at this stage of the game. Merry Christmas, 1940. Let's see. Oh, yeah, just a not a not a good position here. What the heck is that? Is this railway not connecting, or is it that it's damaged? What? All right. I guess we'll just set up the war to start uh, next time. Uh, so let me just do some quick little housekeeping then. Just uh, draw these fallback lines in the various areas. This guy doesn't need to be so far back. I think we'll sign him there. Uh, capital's obviously important. Uh, get you here. And you all are going to be here. Yeah, these are these are much better than um, using the fallback order. So this way they actually entrench. Yeah, just just gotta be wary of any and all uh, Japanese invasions. We're gonna put this, keep this guy here in Long Yan. He'll be like a mobile response force. Uh. Yeah, so now they might they might do things like land on these empty tiles, but they won't be able to take the cities, and they'll eventually starve. Um, yeah, there's no real supply hubs that are close to the coast, but are not on the coast. I guess right here. Yeah, there's one right there for some reason. Uh, okay, if that's the case, let's get you there. Yeah, what a, what a strange place to have one. Uh, okay, so everybody's assigned. Okay, uh, then next time, as we head into the new year, we will attack uh, the Guangxi Click. Uh, which will not be a short war, 
It's not going to be as quick as that Hudon one, but we've got five months before uh, we got to, or technically four months, about four months worth of days uh, to attack before we we're going to be able to attack the Yunon click. And then after the justification it take, is uh, created, it does take a little bit for it to uh, expire. Uh, so we, we should be able to do that. And the same thing in the Yunon click, uh, I think even more so than the, the Guangxi click is going to be a case of hopefully they'll be stupid and run it, just run their forces into me. If not, uh, it's going to be an awful, awful grind to, uh, to Kunming. But uh, having a, an extended front line should help. Though having said that, it looks like they've got more than enough divisions to fill that whole front line. Oh, we can start integrating. Oh, no, we can't. 75, not 70. Okay, I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you next time. Bye.